Hey, Batman Statue Collectors. Hello from Australia. My name is Tony. I'm honored to be invited by Chris and doing a guest review today on my newly acquired XM Studio Batman Sanity Diorama Smoke version. Spoiler, it is amazing. And this is also my very first statue review ever. I hope you enjoy the footage today and uh, love to hear your thoughts about this epic diorama. The concept of this diorama is done by David Finch, one of my all-time favorite Batman artists. And I only found out about this piece exists from a YouTube video sometimes last year. And being Batman fans myself, I was amazed by the concept design. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, putting 12 top Batman villains into one giant diorama surrounding the Dark Knight himself personally I would go mental if I be surrounded by that many people but um, it does shows the mental strengths of the Batman which we love and I think this is what this diorama is all about Sanity comes in two version, a fully color version, I uh, believe it's 388 years, and the smoke version, which was we're looking at today. Uh, there's only 108 was made, and I'm very fortunate to have one of these in my collection. I've seen Chris videos um, on the color version, and I love the paint of the villains, but. In my own opinion, I still prefer the small version um, because the Batman really pops. He is the central piece of this diorama. And I um, match David Finch's original idea. Diorama comes with two massive boxes, but the symbol is relatively easy as all the individual characters are positioned very well and very easy to key in. Thanks to XM design team to make it possible. The statue is about 60 centimeters tall, 45 in wide and 55 in depth. Comparison with Hawkbuster, so you can see the size of this diorama. It is very big for a 1 6 scale diorama. Let's um, take a look at the base. The entire diorama is built on a massive base and it's very heavy. Um, I really like the small effect. On the base, it gives a diorama a timeless feel. And bang, he is pre assembled on the base. Look up to the Batman himself. Then we have Poison Ivy. I really liked the weathering effect, it gives a lot of depth the characters and you can see Ivy's branch all the way up to Batman's leg and then we have Penguin going his umbrella. I love how each characters have different face expressions which reflects the characteristics of the villains, each one of them. Then moving up, we see Batgirls and Harley. You can see the folds on the clothing and the details on the hammers. 
Very, 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 very nice. Moving to the left, we see Scarecrow, which to me is a very standout piece on this diorama. Sideshow just released their uh, Scarecrow, and, uh, which is very good, and I do think this one is equally amazing. I think each character on this diorama can be a good statue by themselves. And Scarecrow is trying to reach up Batman. Next to Harley is Mr. Freeze. Pointing out his ice gun to Batman. You can see really see the anger from his face. Love it. Then we move on to the top layer. We have Clayface. I think this is one of the best Clayface statues that I've seen. There's a very overlooked characters, as we just don't see him often. See his hand at the back. He's the largest characters of this entire diorama. And I love his mouth and teeth. Very detailed. Then we have Mambat. His wings come in two parts attached to his back. The wing spread really um, increase the width of the top layer, which is very nice. Moving down a bit, we have Two-Face, with his iconic coin and pistol. Very comic, accurate look, and I just like the detail Weathering fact. On the very top, of course, has to be Joker. Laying his hand on Batman's shoulder with his iconic smirk, taunting the Dark Knight. Unfortunately, I snapped his bowl, but um, XM will send a replacement next week. Thanks for the excellent customer services done by Mr. Sen himself. Just look at the details of Joker. His face and clothing is definitely the villains of all villains here in this time. And not least, he's a Dark Knight himself. He's definitely the centerpiece of this whole diorama. I really like the paint job on Batman. I believe if you take him out, I think he's one of the best Batman statues out there. I really like the calmness on his face with all the villains just surrounding him keep his sanity love the muscles, tines, textures on the body I think XM did a very good job the paint job on the pouch and uh, belt is also very nice overall he just look majestic Hats off to XM Studio for adding one little but very important easter egg on this diorama. A lot of fans um, have asked for Riddle and um, because he was missing from the original concept. So they add something here. Very nice touch. By XM. Overall, I am very pleased with this diorama. I 
think it lives up the expectation. The presence is just a match. And uh, XM team did the impossible to making David Finch's concept into reality. It's definitely a 360 degree piece and will be a center piece for any Batman collection. In my opinion, this one alongside with Batman Shogun released this year are the two museum pieces of the statue. Thanks again to Chris for this opportunity. I hope you enjoy my very first statue review and uh, please and like subscribe to Batman Statue Collector channel. Have a good day. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today, and if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen, and check out these two awesome videos, I think you're going to love them, and also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching, see you in the Batcave.